After being abandoned by a human who despised him, a street dog decides to take revenge and enlists the help of an army of dogs to find his former owner. Today we're going to recap the story of the movie, Strays, from 2023. Reggie is an extremely happy and optimistic Border Terrier who, like most dogs, is completely obsessed with his human. He was adopted a few years ago by Doug's ex-girlfriend and since then they have been completely inseparable. Thanks to the dog, the couple ended their relationship when Ashley found another woman's underwear in her boyfriend's house. That day, before leaving, Ashley tried to take Reggie with her, but Doug forbade her to do so, because even though he didn't like the animal, the man wanted to keep him to cause even more pain for his ex-girlfriend. Despite not receiving much attention from his owner, Reggie loves him and is convinced that Doug's feelings are reciprocated, so he does everything he can to try and please him. However, the truth is that Doug is an unemployed lunatic who spends all day using illicit substances in an attempt to escape his miserable life. One day, he received an eviction notice from his apartment for not being able to pay the rent, so he had to start packing his things to move back in with his mother. Before moving, the man decides to abandon the dog and takes Reggie to a place far away from home. At that moment, Doug throws the ball and, while the dog goes to catch it, he gets into his car and drives home. Despite being abandoned several times, Reggie always finds his way back and naively returns the ball to its owner, believing that it's all part of a game. Furious at not being able to get rid of the dog, Doug decides to take it to another town three hours away from Oakwood and parks it in an isolated alley. After throwing the ball, the man gets into the truck and Reggie has to find a way to reach the toy. When he finally manages to catch it, the dog realizes he's lost and starts wandering aimlessly around the unknown city. At dusk, with the ball still in his mouth, Reggie looks for a corner to rest. Hours later, he wakes up to continue his mission, but ends up in trouble. On the way, Reggie comes across two bully dogs who realize he's new to the area and his ball is stolen by a Doberman. However, when Reggie is surrounded by troublemakers, Bug appears and, despite his short stature, proves to be brave enough to stand up to them. The dog then challenges the two big guys to a duel, but they decide to walk away. When the pair leave, Bug asks Reggie to accompany him and asks how long he's been a street dog. However, the animal says he has a home and tells him how he ended up there, as he still believes it was all just a joke. When he hears the story of how Doug got rid of his dog, Bug starts laughing and claims that Reggie has been tricked. The truth is that he was abandoned by his owner and has now officially become a street dog. When faced with this reality, Reggie is saddened, but the French Bulldog says that this could be the best experience of his life so he offers to teach his new friend how to live alone on the streets and says that all Reggie has to do is follow the rules. The first of these involves learning to mark territory, which for dogs means urinating all over things. Bug then needs to help Reggie understand the concept of freedom. If before he was always worried about pleasing his owner, now all he has to do is please himself. The Bulldog says that, from now on, Reggie can do whatever he wants and decides to take him to the dog park to show him that the life of a street dog is much better than the life of pets. At this point, Bug introduces Reggie to some of his friends. Hunter, who is a former police dog and now works helping elderly people in a nursing home, is the biggest dog in the neighborhood, but also the friendliest. On the other hand, Maggie is a very imposing dog who has an enormous talent for sniffing things out, but Jenna has swapped her for a German Spies puppy called Bella. After introducing his friends to Reggie, Bug invites him to go for a walk with the gang that night, but the animal continues to believe that he needs to go back to Doug, because he thinks that a dog's purpose is to make his human happy. When he hears this, the bulldog becomes furious and says that the purpose of a dog is not to satisfy its owner's needs, but to enjoy life to the full and do whatever it wants. With this speech, Bug manages to convince Reggie to join them that night and the group arranges to meet in front of the pizzeria. When they get there, the four friends wait for the moment when one of the humans drops the pizza on the floor to attack, and then they devour their dinner. Since it's Friday, the garbage is full of beer and the dogs drink until they get dizzy. Then everyone goes to the park and plays with the automatic sprinklers, as this is one of the things those dogs love to do the most. At the end of the night, they find Chester and try to invite him to join the gang, but the animal says he can't leave because he believes there is an invisible fence on the lawn of his house. At the end of the tour, the dogs then team up to urinate on a wall and Reggie realizes that. Really, the life of a street dog can be much cooler than that of an adopted dog. At least now he doesn't have to wait several hours for Doug to take him out to do his business and he can go for a walk whenever he wants. Upon hearing the terrible way Reggie was treated by his human, Bug and the others are amazed to realize that the dog loved him nonetheless. The truth is that Reggie never noticed that Doug despised him and always romanticized the way he was treated, because he believed that this was how the relationship between a human and his dog should be. However, when he remembers some of the moments he spent with Doug, 
Reggie realizes that he wasn't really loved and this leaves him heartbroken. Furious, the dog decides to return home and meet Doug again, but this time his aim is to get revenge on him and wipe out the race of the guy who hurt him. Determined to help their friend find Doug again before he moves away, Bug and the others decide to accompany him on this journey. After a few hours of walking, the quartet is exhausted and hungry, so Maggie starts sniffing hot dogs and her friends go after her. While Bug distracts the salesman, Reggie steals some sausages and takes dinner to be shared between the four friends. Being the right-hand man of the group, Hunter becomes afraid that some human has seen what they've done and, soon after, countless fireworks start exploding in the sky. Frightened, the dogs run away and leave the sausages behind, believing that this is a divine sign that they will be punished for their crime. During their escape from the park, Hunter and Maggie climb onto some wooden crates and manage to jump over the fence, but Reggie and Bug end up getting stuck on the other side. To escape, the pair have to dig a hole and enlist the help of their friends to open the passage. However, as Reggie goes under the fence, his bandana gets caught and the dog asks his friends to run away without him. At that moment, everyone refuses to leave him and unites to help the little one free himself before a group of teenagers fire more rockets. With Bug's help, Reggie manages to free himself and is thrilled to learn that his friends risked their lives to save him. As everyone is exhausted from the journey, the pack decides to stop for a rest and spends the night in the forest. The next morning, they continue walking towards Oakwood and, during a conversation with Reggie, Maggie tries to convince him to abandon his plan for revenge. The dog says that Reggie should just put the past behind him and move on, but the dog has no intention of forgiving Doug for all the harm he has done to him. Meanwhile, Bug tries to convince Hunter to take the cone off his head, because he's always wearing that thing. However, the Great Dane claims that he needs to wear that cone for medical reasons to avoid ear infections and other such problems. The dogs are distracted by the conversation when Bug realizes that they are lost and becomes furious. Just when the bulldog thinks the situation can't get any worse, a hawk appears and he is captured. In an attempt to save him, Reggie climbs onto a rock and grabs his friend's paw, but the hawk refuses to let go and manages to support the weight of both dogs. Suddenly, Dennis Quaid, who has gone into the forest to watch the birds, hears Bug barking and uses his binoculars to see what's going on. When he comes across a hawk carrying two dogs to its nest, he is perplexed and can hardly believe his eyes. While flying over the forest, the dogs spot the cone-shaped mountain they were looking for and then collide with a large tree. Finally, the two friends free themselves from the hawk's fangs and during the fall they are lucky enough to be supported by the branches, so they manage to reach the ground without suffering any serious injuries. Now that he has survived the predator's attack, Bug feels relieved and thanks Reggie for saving his life. All the group needs to do now is head towards the mountain, as Reggie remembers seeing that cone when he was being taken to the nearby town. A few miles later, the dogs come across a mushroom plantation and decide to stop for food, as they haven't eaten for a long time. As they are starving, they devour the entire crop and take a break to digest the food. However, when they decide to continue their journey, they start hallucinating and seeing things that aren't there. Suddenly, Maggie spots a burrow where she finds stuffed toys. Together with her friends, she spends a lot of time playing with these rabbits and ends up tearing them all apart. A few hours later, when the dogs wake up, they realize that the effect of the mushrooms has worn off and find several lifeless rabbits lying around. Only then does the group discover that those animals were not stuffed animals and were brutally eliminated for no reason. Regretting what he had done, Bug started digging and asked his friends to help him bury the broken bodies of those poor rabbits. Suddenly, two police dogs appear and Rolf begins to question them, as he senses something suspicious coming from that group. The pair say they are looking for Riley Anderson, an eight-year-old girl who got lost from a group of scouts two days ago. The policemen thought that those street dogs might have made contact with her, but Sheriff says that they are innocent. At this point, Maggie offers to help them find the girl as she is an excellent sniffer, but Rolf declines her help. But before he leaves, he recognizes Hunter, who used to work as a police dog when he was younger. The two have been friends for a long time and are happy to meet up, but Hunter feels embarrassed when Rolf asks where he currently works and says that his mission now is to look after dying humans. Minutes later, the humans show up and the group is captured. That same day, they are taken to the pound and bug panics because he knows that no one will look for him there. The animal says he once had a human called Emma and remembers perfectly the day he was adopted. He and his owner were inseparable and played all day long. Even when Bug messed up, Emma smiled and treated him with love. However, one day, while Bug was lying on the lawn at home, Emma ran towards him and accidentally stepped on his paw. Frightened, the dog acted on impulse and bit the girl, so her parents decided to take him to be put down, as they considered Bug to be an aggressive and highly dangerous dog. 
Luckily, the bulldog managed to escape from the veterinary clinic and has since become a street dog. Despite surviving, Bug has never been able to forgive Emma and her family for what they did to him, which is why he wants so much to help Reggie get revenge on Doug. The bulldog feels that it will have the chance to give humans what they deserve for abandoning their dogs. In the meantime, Maggie thinks of a strategy to escape from that kennel and spots a bunch of keys hanging on the wall. The problem is that they can't reach it, so Reggie asks all the dogs in that cell to relieve themselves on the floor. That way, when Willie goes inside to clean up, the dogs will have a chance to escape. As agreed, the dogs spread their licks everywhere and, seconds later, the smell spreads throughout the police station. Then, when Willie enters the cell to collect the mess, he ends up slipping on a pile of them and, at that moment, the dogs run out. Before running away, Reggie picks up a tennis ball that he finds inside the kennel and runs off with the toy in his mouth. That night, the four friends walk until they come across the sign of an American company responsible for delivering mail and, on seeing the image of the letter carrier, Reggie realizes that he is arriving at his old home. Before moving on, Bug asks why his friend has been carrying a tennis ball since he left the kennel and Reggie reveals that he doesn't want to disappoint Doug, as he's waiting for his dog to take the ball back home. At first, Reggie was focused on his revenge plan, but as he gets closer to home, he realizes that he misses Doug and wants to move back in with him. The dog blames himself for being abandoned, as he always destroyed his owner's shoes and woke him up early to go for a walk. On hearing this, Bug is disappointed and regrets risking his life to help Reggie get back to Oakwood. After ripping off the dog's bandana, Bug then urinate on it and claims that Reggie and Doug deserve each other. Saddened after hearing these harsh words from his friend, Reggie takes his little ball and leaves. In the morning, he arrives in Oakwood while Bug and the others try to find their way back to their town. After a few hours on the road, Bug decides to separate from Hunter and Maggie, because unlike the pair, the bulldog doesn't have a family waiting for him. So the dog decides to head off into the forest and suddenly comes across Riley. When he sees the girl, Bug's first thought is to run away, as she reminds him of his former owner. However, when he sees the girl crying, the dog is moved and fights against his own instincts to approach her. At that moment, he remembers that there was a lost girl scout that Rolf was looking for in the forest and starts calling his friends for help. Together, the three dogs start barking and manage to attract the attention of the police. Thanks to them, the little girl is saved. Grateful for their excellent work, Rolf asks how he can reward them and Bug asks for help to save his friend. However, the German Shepherd reveals that, in order to track Reggie, it is necessary to smell him first. Maggie then remembers the bandana and runs to get it. The problem is that the bandana is all wet, so Sheriff can't identify the dog's scent. So Maggie decides to do the job and is able to detect Reggie's scent. Meanwhile, the poor dog has just arrived at Doug's house with his little ball, but can't find anyone inside. While walking around the house, he remembers how his owner used to treat him and decides to bury the ball in the garden before leaving. Just then, Doug appears and Reggie approaches him to tell him how he feels, even though he knows the man can't understand him. The dog reveals that, in recent days, he has met real friends who have taught him what it means to be loved and valued. Now that he has found his owner again, Reggie realizes that he wasn't abandoned because he was a bad dog, but because Doug is a bad man. After saying these words, Reggie walks towards the door to leave, but Doug picks up a baseball bat to attack him, as he plans to get rid of the dog once and for all. At that moment, Hunter knocks down the door and, after removing the cone from his head, he attacks Doug. Meanwhile, Maggie and Bug go to check on Reggie and he is thrilled to see his friends. At this point, Doug manages to push Hunter away, then Maggie bites his leg and Bug provokes him, causing the man to destroy the microwave. After smashing the device, he gets even angrier and goes after Reggie, but the dog manages to dodge his blows and Doug ends up taking a tumble. However, he quickly gets up, captures Reggie and threatens to eliminate him, but Doug's evil plan is interrupted when Bug jumps on his face and Maggie knocks him down, causing the man to fall headfirst into a bottle. While his friends hold the man down, Reggie is finally able to complete his revenge and bites the man's lower parts. Suddenly, the flames caused by Doug's cigarette spread through the house and he loses absolutely everything he owns, even his truck ends up being smashed by a lamppost. After this memorable revenge, Reggie returns to the other town with his friends and Hunter goes back to work looking after the elderly in the nursing home. After all the challenges he faced, he gained enough self-confidence to no longer need to wear the cone and finally had the courage to reveal his feelings for Maggie. Now they are a couple. Maggie has finally found an owner who deserves her and has joined the police detection squad, where she is the best sniffer. After saving Riley, Bug changed his view of humans and ended up being adopted by the little girl, who showered him with love and affection every day. 
As for Reggie, he has chosen to remain a street dog and is always in the neighborhood to have fun with his friends. His mission now is to help other dogs who have been abandoned to survive and recognize their own worth, because it's very difficult to do that when you've been rejected by those you love the most. Even though he decided to live on the streets, Reggie is surrounded by people who care a lot about him and take him in whenever he needs support. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.